Hey folks, welcome back to 3Zen. It's great to see everybody. Bobo here. So, I was looking at through the uh, comments here the other day on the channel and uh, I came across this one. Actually, I'd seen it uh, a few days ago and I've been thinking about it and it just cracks me up. Let me read it to you here. This guy says, uh, You would have been a phenomenal straight man in a brutally hysterical slapstick series. Thank you for that. Um, that's just my sense of humor. I uh, I like to be the guy that makes the, the ad lib, if you will, uh, where everybody else is thinking about it. I'll come across and say it. And uh, I don't know why I do this. Uh, maybe it's just because of the way my brain is wired. But I can point to when I first recognized I had this tendency. It was back in ninth grade in biology class in Chickabee Falls, Massachusetts. And I attended a high school that was an old high school. Um, it was old and it had these 12 foot ceilings in the rooms and these big tall windows. I mean, monster windows. And the rooms were cold as hell, even though they had uh, radiators in them. All the radiators did is made noises. Uh, just clanging throughout the day. So this one day, we're having this biology class in there. It was taught by this woman, probably in her mid to late 60s. And she was a nice lady, and I liked her. And uh, probably should take pause here to offer an apology. Um, what I did next to her, I shouldn't have done, and I'm kind of sorry I did it. Um, I have to laugh because I don't know if I really am sorry or not. But anyway, so what happened is she was given a discussion or a presentation on the anatomy of birds and how a long neck facilitates their ability to fly. And when you think about it, a bird's got a body. It's got wings that come out like so, and it's got feet back here that kind of drag along. But in order to balance this, it needed a neck proportionally it protruded out um, and then the head on, on the end of the neck, that's conventionally where they put them. Anyway, needed that to kind of keep everything in balance and so forth. And it really made, it was, I don't know, why, that's one of those things you learn. About. Wow, that's really interesting. So anyway, I sat there quietly as did the other kids. And she went through that explanation. And then she said, are there any questions? And like I said, my brain's not not wired right. So anyway, I'm up, shot my hand, and she says, Bobby, what's on your mind? And I says, well, I said, I get all that, and I understand it. Boy, it all makes sense. But I said, I can't help but wonder, with that explanation about the proportional long neck to the body and the head for birds, I can't understand why giraffes can't fly. Well, that stunned her, and she thought about it for a moment. And I guess a vision of a giraffe with that long neck, but no wings. But anyway, she started laughing. And then all the rest of the the, the uh, class started laughing. But she laughed the hardest when she thought about it, and I'm sitting there trying to kind of disappear into the rest of the class. That didn't work. So anyway, the harder she laughed, she wore false teeth, and those things <laughs> let go <laughs> So she's sitting there trying to cup them while she's laughing, thinking of this damn giraffe trying to get airborne. Anyway, um, she didn't hammer me for that because it was a funny, funny question. But ever since then, I don't know, maybe if she had, I would have not grown up not quite right. But then where would the fun have been? So I can appreciate what this guy said. I, uh, I've loved doing that ever since. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your comments. Uh, God, I love sharing these stories with you. So that said, this is uh, Bobo Base Gear Stop.